What's up guys, Isaac Walton here for Hunting the River King, doing a new series on some of my favorite Android fishing games. This is mainstream fishing. This is definitely one of my top five favorite fishing games. Um, honestly, you're never going to find an app that is anywhere as, as much fun as fishing, and there is a ton of garbage fishing apps out there, but there's some beauties, some real gems out there, and one is mainstream fishing. Okay, let me just show you quickly why I really like it. Take a look at these maps here, all right? This is a European developer, but if you're if you've ever fished in California, you've probably heard of these rivers, including the famous Kern River, Kings River, Bishop. And then over here we have uh, Feather River, Yuba River, and the Truckee River. These are all basically Sierras, um, mostly Eastern Sierras, but with some like Kings River on the Western Sierras. And these are up more North. This is actually a Google Earth image. Um, it's really neat to see this and to be able to fish at some of the places that I've fished at before. So let's jump into the Kern River. This is all fly fishing. It has rainbow trout, golden trout, and there's also rainbow fishing. Let's go to the river. Awesome loading screens, by the way, although there's no grizzly bears left in California. Really interesting that developers picked California as kind of their place uh, to feature this fly fishing app with all of the places they could have featured. So you'll notice a few things here on screen. If you want to cast somewhere, you simply move this indicator and then you tap the cast button. Um, you'll see a few fish jumping. There's one uh, right next to me there. There's one all the way out. If I can get my indicator over there. And there's even one really close by here. Oops, coming off screen here. Uh, you need to first pick your fly. Let's see what I got uh, in my tackle box right now. I'm throwing a wet fly with an upgraded reel, or it's basic reel and upgraded rod. Let's try it out. There isn't really a way to check the hatch. The kind of focus of this game is actually casting in the appropriate place. I'm going to cast right now and letting your fly drift uh, right alongside of the fish. You notice that didn't work. It looks like I may have hit a snag or something. Currents play an enormous role here. If you can't figure out the current, you're not going to get the fish. So my fly is drifting right past the fish. He's not very interested. There's another one over here. Oop, that's a little too far back. Let's reel it in. And we'll try to cast again. It's all about figuring out how the current will move your fly. You can snag your flies on the rocks and the trees. It will make you recast. Ooh, that one isn't really interested either. Okay, let's try this other trout all the way up here. And it's certainly not a gimme game where every single cast is going to result in a fish. That's just not how this is. Okay, that's looking pretty sweet. We're going to go right past the trout. And I've got him. Okay, so this is going to be the game of the fish has so much stamina at the bottom of the screen. I keep reeling him in to wear down that stamina. But if I reel too quickly, the line tension, that yellow thing at the top of the screen, will go up and then I'll snap my line. Some fish are easier than others. It doesn't exactly feel like fighting a real fish. I don't expect it to on the um, Android, but honestly, it's actually pretty fun. And I'm not getting pop-up ads at the same time or commercials saying, hey, if you lost a fish, go ahead and click this, play this video, and we'll give you another shot at it, unlike <laughs> one of the other popular fly fishing games. Okay, we're starting to wear him down. And I got him. Boom. So, fair fight for a one-pound fish. Not my record. You can get extra points for... Uh, releasing it. You can add it to your aquarium or you can mount it on your wall. And notice they do re, um, reward catch and release fishing. You mount it, you lose some points. You lose the in-game currency. Let's release it because we're catch and release fishers. Great job. Here's your reward. Awesome. Okay. So that's just one of the many places you can fish. We'll take a look at some of the other maps here. We'll go over to, how about the Yuba River? brown trout. Let's dive in and see what it looks like. Graphics are great in this game. Um, I do wish the fly fishing mechanic for casting was a little bit more involved, but it's not bad. Um, the rivers actually do look like a big trout river. Um, the fish aren't all unrealistic. The species are actually realistic and the tactics you might use, such as this case, I'm going to switch to a uh, dry fly, are all pretty realistic as well. These are actual flies. And I haven't spent any actual money on this game. That's really important to me. It's a free game. There are ways, if you'd like, 
to spend real money and potentially have an advantage in the game or move through it a little bit faster, but it doesn't require you to. That's really important. Okay, let's take a stab at this fish right here. Cast on over. Oh, and I ended up on the rocks. Yeah, that's not going to work. So let's try casting again. Right there. Just enough. Okay, perfect. Oh, and I got him on. That's just heck of satisfying right there. I love it. I gotta say, the developers did a good job at kind of capturing some of the, oh, I don't know, the topography um, or what you'd see actually around some of these streams, especially in California, Southern California, Central California. Lots of boulders. You do a lot of boulder hopping, rock hopping, and that's what this uh, stream really looks like right here. Ooh, what did we get? Another rainbow. Oh, a little bit bigger than the last one. Let's go ahead and throw him in the aquarium, and let me show you how that feature works. It's more of just something fun, so you can look at your fish. We're looking at them like this. You can change the camera view. A lot of fish in there. Let's go ahead and feed them, see what happens here. Here's where you start spending some of your hard-earned cash. We'll get some basic fish food, buy that. Oops, that's strange. I haven't seen that error before. There we go. Don't have too many bugs, haven't seen that happen either. Okay, and all you do is just tap where you want them to go to. Oh, look at your fish eating, it's so satisfying. Hopefully if you have a fish tank raising rainbow trout, you have something more than just a swimming pool. It'd be awesome to have some sort of creek in your backyard, even an artificial koi pond style one. Kind of like what they have at Bass Pro Shops to have it there. And if you get tired of tapping, you can just quickly feed all your fish, grow them bigger. Let's change our tanks here. So I have, these are some of the species you can catch here, right? Rainbow trout, Paiute, uh, cutthroat trout, brown trout, haven't caught Apache, bull trout, Chinook salmon, chum salmon, coastal cutthroat, coho salmon, golden trout, pink salmon, sockeye salmon, steelhead, or Lahontan cutthroat trout. I really like how they've gone with realistic species. The graphics look realistic and the locations are realistic, okay? So hats off to these guys. And let's go back to our main menu here. Look at some of the other options. There's leaderboards, there are contests, there are trophies. Oh, here's one of my trophies right here. I huh, wish I could zoom into it. There we go. Brown trout, three pounds, Bishop Creek. Pretty proud of this guy. Boy, that fish looks terrible on that mount, doesn't it? You can even look at photos, haven't figured that out. And you can also get a pet. Somehow I ended up with a golden retriever. So a lot of little options here. Now the real question is, do you want to spend actual money on the game? If you want to, you can get all these things. River points, watch ads, get extra cash for free, that kind of thing. But what they do a really good job of in mainstream fishing is I'm not overwhelmed with ads everywhere. The screen, the interface is pretty clean. Sure, there's a top fish list of catching. Um, and there's daily rewards and all that, even news, and there's tournaments. But I don't feel like I'm just being bombarded with ads and just weird stuff, okay? Uh, let's see here. There's even this tournament option. I haven't really done it. Currently a global tournament right now. And there's also some special tournaments. Um, so overall, guys, that's mainstream fishing. For a California trout fisherman, it's pretty cool to see all the options that they have, all the different types of fish you can catch, and actually be fishing on real rivers. Um, it's not the perfect fly fishing game. I don't think that exists at this point, but it's certainly, I would argue, one of the best fly fishing games available on Android. I believe it also is available on uh, iOS for Apple devices too. Anyway, guys, if you've played mainstream fishing, let me know. What'd you think about it? Would you recommend it? Do you have a favorite fly fishing game on Android? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Isaac Walton, Hunter the Ribbon King, signing out. Get ready for my other favorite uh, fishing games for mobile devices coming up soon. Later.